But I thank God because He always strengthens me. Hallelujah. This morning I'm going to talk about the word which you know very well. And the word I want to talk about it's the life we just will live every day. I'm going to talk about your words to be salted. It's very hard to understand how our words should be have salt. Are we going to put the salt in our mouth so that the words can come out with salt or not? But through my teachings this morning, we're going to talk about how can people can speak. And those words you speak with your friends can make you understand that they have soul. Or can you escape them? Salt is something people invert. It's something which can bring people to. Where there is salt, there is a nice meal. Where there is a nice meal, people here are good uh, and people like that. We're going to see what I prepared for my teaching. And in my teaching today, we're going to see the work of the soul. And we're going to see where this speaking comes. The words with salt. The, pro the problem of speaking without salt. And we're going to conclude with that. Hallelujah. We're going to see the scripture. We're going to see in Colossians 4, 6. And that's where we're going to read our teaching this morning. Colossians 4. We're going to read 6. We're going to read in Jesus' name. The Bible says this. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. Amen. My language here said munyu. Salt. In other language said salt. But when we have read this scripture, we want to know that salt is something everybody likes. And if everybody likes salt, salt has benefit in our bodies. Salt also has benefit in the food we eat. It has benefit in every different ways. That salt everyone has it on his table. And when you eat a food without salt, can you add me a little bit of salt, please? We're going to see how Jesus speak about the salt. Jesus himself when he was with his disciples, he just sat on the mountain. He started teaching about the salt. And when Jesus is with his disciples, he just saw that before that salt has to be seasoned. That's so it will make people that is seasoned. But if it's not seasoned yet, it will start it's very bad. If it, salt is small in the food, it's not good. Salt has benefit in your body. It has benefit on your life too. And this salt has to have some limit. And that limit that has been asked for that. That makes that salt to be good. 
kuwa mbaya but if it's bad ile chumvi italeta shida kwa mwili wako that's so to bring problem in your body na kuja angalia kwamba chumvi inatumika hata kwa moyo wako we can see that salt works only also in your heart wako uweze kutumika vizuri before your heart works very well na hizi chumvi iwe ndani kwa kiasi it has to have salt chumvi inatumika pia kwa damu yako salt works on the also your blood pia chumvi inatumika kwa maji yaliyo ndani ya mwili wako even the water which is in your body na kusudi yale yote iweze kutenda kazi and before that you do some works kazi kwanza kuwa kwa kiwango fulani it has to have some limits jina la bwana lipewe sifa hallelujah tuangalie chumvi basi na kazi yake let us see the work of salt but ingawaje chumvi inakuwa na kazi mbalimbali even if salt has many works lakini kuna mambo matatu ambayo yanafunga There is three things that makes uh, that salt to be good. That's the salt uh, put some leather in the food. That's when you put salt in the food. You see somebody is adding the salt in the food so that it can be seasoned very well. The technician is going quicker than me. Twende pamoja tafadhali. Let us go together. Tunaona ya kwamba chumvi inaongeza ladha. You see that the salt has that to Wakati season. Wakati ndani ya chakula mna chumvi, when the salt is in the food, inaenda kuongeza tena utamu wa hiyo chakula. Ah, uh, it adds some salt to be very tasty. Na wakati ile chumvi ilikosa ndani, when the salt is missing, ladha ya ile chakula inapotea. Oh, that food is not tasted very well. Ipo sasa inatubidi kuongeza tena chumvi. That's where we need to add a little bit salt. Tuangalia jambo la pili. Second thing is, chumvi inafaa kwa kulinda chakula kwa muda mrefu. That full salt protect the food. Tukiangalia hizo chakula If you see those kind of food Kila there, chakula ambayo inakuja kwa mabwate every food that comes in contains ama hizo chakula ambazo zinakuwa kwa hizo makopo pa in cans kusudi zisiweze kuoza so that they may be boiled kusudi zisiweze kuharibika or that's a bit bad ina fridge ndani muweke chumvi they have to put salt inside wa mama ambao wanazoea kutuletea makayabo ya kutoka Afrika mother they will bring those uh, salted fish from Africa kama siku tunataka kuzipata saa hizi this time in uh, winter uh, summer time we want to get them tunaanza kuzikula sana They're gonna eat them say they are coming from Africa. So that they can live Africa and here. They put salt in that kind of fish. And, and that salt make that fish so that it can dry without spoil. Because salt has to protect the food. Hallelujah. Let us see the third thing. Salt just heal the wounds which is open. When you just cut yourself. When you are just hurt. Either on your finger. You have to put the finger on that wound. And that salt will help you. Salt so just keep him James on our wounds. Wakati chumvi inakuwa pale kwenye kidonda. When the salt is on the wound. Kidonda kinatibika. That wound is healed. Kila kidonda kinapata matibabu. That wound just gets some kind of treatment. Sio sababu tu umeenda kwa daktari. It's not because you went to see the doctor. Lakini sababu daktari ametumia kitu. But because the doctor used. Ambacho labda ni chumvi. Which is salt. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Hapo tunaona ya kwamba chumvi ina mambo matatu. We see now that salt has three things. Acha tuangalie basi jambo la kufaa. Let us see the next thing. Mazembe basi ili yaweze kuwa chumvi. Kwanza yanatoka wapi? Where does words come from before they come salt? Kama mazembe kusudi yafue chumvi yanatokea kama wapi? Before they come salt where does they come from? Mazembe yandiko katika Mathayo. Let us read in Matthew. Sura yake 12. 12. Na ule mshairi wake wa makumi 3 na ile. 34. Kiwa kuna mtu atakuwa tayari atasomea katika chapitre 34 je vais lire au nom de Jésus. Amen. Ras de vipère. Comment pourriez-vous dire des bonnes choses mauvaises comme vous l'êtes car c'est de l'abondance du cœur que la bouche parle. Amen. Amen. Kina la Bwana alipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Yesu anazungumza na wafarisayo hapa. Jesus is speaking with Pharisees. Na anawazungumzia habari za masemi ya vinywa vyao. And he's talking about them about the words. Masemi yao ambayo yalitoka mara kwa mara kwa vinywa vyao. They are words which came always from their mouth. Jesus knew. Yanatokana na hali zao. They just come from their hearts. Na sababu wao ni hali ambayo inatokana na nyoka shetani. And, and their habit comes from the viper. Masemi yao yataandamana na hali zinazokaa ndani yao. They are speaking will just go uh, like Na, their habits. And he told them again. You vipers. Kusema 
maneno mazuri how can you speak good words ndani ya hazina iliyo ndani yenu for about abundance of words yenu mmejawa maneno maovu your heart is full of mawazo ya moyo wenu ni maovu they thinking of your fault nafanya hata masemi yenu they are better making words wende kukua maovu to be bad ni kwamba maneno na masemi it means the words yanatoka ndani ya moyo wako they just come from your heart wakati yanatoka ndani ya moyo wako when it comes from your heart inakuja kusikika kwa masemi yako it just come to understand from your mouth bwana tusaidie sana hallelujah Taendelea basi kuona namna gani yale masemi yanatoka kwa moyo. We going to see how these kinds of words coming from the heart. Ikiwa masemi yanatoka kwa mawazo yako. If the words come from your heart. Yale mawazo yanakaa ndani ya moyo wako. Those words come from the heart. Taleta pale mfano kabla. I will give an example. Unajua wakati unakaa na mtu. When you sit with somebody. Na ule mtu siku moja anakuambia hivi. And that man tells you one day. Nita kuuaka siku moja. I will kill you one day. Na huenda unaweza sema ya kwamba bo iko nafanya muzaha huyu. Perhaps you can say he's joking. Lakini ikiwa yanatoka kwa kinywa chake, ni sababu ndani ya moyo wake kuna kitu kimetokea mule. Kuna mawazo ambayo amefikiria. Kind of na akakuja kutoa kwa kinywa chake. Sababu masemi yako yanatoka kwa mawazo yako. It comes from your na mawazo yako yanakaa ndani ya moyo wako. Na matendo unayoyatenda inafuatana na masemi unayoyatenda. Na yale matendo yako ndio inakupatia tabia yako. That's what give you a habit. Na ile tabia yako ndio inakuelekeza mahali unaelekea so kama ni mbinguni ni tabia zako so ambazo zinatoka kwa mawazo yako na kwa masemi ya kinywa chako ndio words from a mouth Bwana tusaidie sana haleluya maneno ya vinywa vyetu the words of our mouth yanatoka katika mawazo ya moyo they are coming from our hearts ndio mara nyingi tunapoona ile picha ya moyo vile you know when you see that picture of heart wadada wanapenda sana ile sababu wana 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 wana, wana, wana iweka sana kwa ajili ya love ladies they will like that because they put it on love hata mtu anaposema anakupenda when somebody tells you i love you ni sababu imetoka kwa moyo wake because it comes from your heart ndio ndani ya moyo wake he just stay in your heart akakufikiria he just so akakuona huko mzuri thinking about you and it's so you are and just like mtu akasema ninakupenda and at the end said i love you ilikaa ndani ya moyo to stay in his heart kabla neno litoke kwa kinywa before every words come out inaingia kwa mawazo likikaa ndani ya moyo just come for without to inside jina la bwana lipewe sifa hallelujah Tunaendelea pale kuona ya kwamba wakati maneno yanatoka kwa kinywa cha Mungu ni sababu yameujaza moyo wake because they are feel, they are feeling in it hakuna jambo ambalo laweza toka kwa kinywa tu hivi hasa nothing can come on the mouth like this kule. before it comes Yesu from the heart anasema hivi Jesus himself said ya kwamba yamtokayo mtu kinywani that comes in the mouth yamujazao moyo wake that's what is inside his ikiwa mtu ni wachuki masemi yake yote itakuwa ni ya kupanda chuki kwa watu ikiwa ni mtu wa furaha na watu masemi yake yote itakuwa ya kutafuta kuleta watu kwa watu ikiwa mtu masemi yake ni ya wivu masemi yake yote itaonekana kwa wivu is the one jealous na watu wa wivu unajua masemi yao inakuwaka nini those jealous people ni watu wa kukritike zaidi those are people to criticize others hata ukifanya mzuri hata sebaka ulifanya mzuri he never said that you did it hata sema itulifanya vizuri sababu gani he never said that you did it sababu sababu kweli haukufanya vizuri lakini mawazo ya moyo wake ni kwamba wewe ukifanya vizuri yeye atakosa sifa yeye labda hata heshimiwa yeye labda hata julikana asingekuwa yeye ndio angefanya vile na mara mingi yeye akifanya ile iko mzuri that is good wakati mtu ana wivu ndani yake masemi ya, ya kutoka kwa kinywa chake inaandamana na kuhukumu wengine inaandamana na kuzihaki wengine inaandamana na kucheka wengine na hata mara nyingi masemi ya watu kama wale ni ya kuvunja moyo kumbuka mahali tuko na zungumzia maneno yako yawe na chumvi tunakuta kuangalia jambo la kufuata unapoongea jambo when you speak something ni lazima uelewe kwamba ile ilianzia moyoni mwako you have to start to understand it starts in your heart and it just come for your ili aweze kuyasema so that you can speak them na ndio sababu ni vizuri mkristo kuchunguza hili neno linatoka wapi that's why christian have to understand you vizuri wakati mtu anapoongea na wewe when somebody speaks with you wewe uangalie hili neno laweza kutokea sababu gani just uh Remember how come this word can come out? Hii neno inaweza tokea tu hivi hivi. Where can this word come from? Hapa kuna mahali ambako limetokea na linaelekea mahali. There is some way it starts and where it's going. 
wakati neno linatoka ndani ya kinywa cha mume a word comes out of the mouth wewe unapokea lile neno the one who receive this word ni mzuri pia uweze kuchunguza you have to check ikiwa liko ndani chumvi if it has salt ama halina ndani chumvi or na, no salt maana kila neno lile lina chumvi every word is salt linakuwa na baraka kwa maisha yako it has a blessing in your life linakuwa na kutamaniza kwa maisha yako it has something to be linakuwa na kukuponya wewe it has to be linakuwa na kukutia nguvu to be to carry with you lakini ikiwa ni neno halina chumvi but if it doesn't have salt Halita kufutia kwa lolote. It will not bring you. Labda utalisikia ni kavu kavu. Just uh, smooth. Labda utalisikia tu unajua tu kwamba hapana hii haiko neno ya kulisikia. No this one is it will it will not help me. Hallelujah. Acha tuangalie maandiko matakatifu. Let us see the scriptures. Hapo kwanza tunaona moyo wa mwanadamu. Here first you just see the um, human heart. Huo ni moyo ambao unaonekana kwa ndani. This is the heart on inside. Lakini ndani ya moyo ni mule mnakaa zile vitu. But inside of that heart that's where stays the world. Kama utazaaka watoto unawawazia ndani ya moyo wako. If you produce kids you just think them inside your heart. Kama unahitaji ujazo wa Roho Mtakatifu iko ndani ya moyo wako. If you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit inside. Kama unataka baraka ziko ndani ya moyo wako. If you want blessings they are inside your heart. Na unapoenda mbele za Mungu unatamka ile masemi kwa kinywa chako. You just speak those words. Kwanza alitoka ndani ya moyo wako. They came in your heart. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Tusome lile andiko Let us read that scripture. Jeremiah 17. Na ule mtari wake wa 9 na ule wa 10. 9 to 10. Tusome Yeremiah 17 hadi 10. Moyo huwa mdanganyifu kuliko vitu vyote. Una ugonjwa wa kufisha. Nani awezaye kujua? Mimi Bwana na uchunguza moyo. Na vijaribu viuno hata kumpa kila mtu kiasi cha njia zake kiasi cha matunda ya matendo yake amen amen jina la bwana lipewe sifa haleluya eti moyo umekuwa mudanganyifu the heart is deceitful unajua mkristo hautadanganyiwa kama na kitu kingine kipokuwa moyo wako you will not be deceived by any other thing than your heart moyo wako unaenda kukujulisha ya kwamba rafiki yako ni adui yako your heart will tell you that your friend is your enemy moyo wako unaenda kukushuhudia ya kwamba fulani ni mubaya na sio mubaya Your heart can testify that someone is bad than Moyo wako unaweza kuambia fulani anakuchukiaka na hakuchukiaka. Your heart can tell that something that's hate you. Moyo wako unaweza kujiumbia jambo kwa ajili ya mtu fulani na lile jambo haliko. Your heart can create something for someone when it's not there. Nilikuwa nazungumza hapa on Wednesday na wandugu fulani. I was speaking here on Wednesday with someone. Na nazungumza namna gani kuna mambo ya nuru ambayo yanaweza kugeuka sawa ya giza na giza inaweza kufanya sawa nuru. We spoke about how something from darkness can turn to kuona ya kwamba kitu kigumu ambacho chaweza angamiza maisha ya mwanadamu. And you came to see that something great that can Ni nuru inayofanana na giza. It's the delight that it resembles the darkness. Ile nuru inayofanana na giza. That light which resembles the darkness. Ni kwamba zaidi kuliko la giza inayofanana na nuru. It's very better than the darkness to resemble the light. Sijui kama ninaeleweka baada. Am I understood? Nikiona giza ninaiogopa. When I see the darkness I'm fearing. Nikiona mwanga ninafurahi. When I see the light I'm very happy. Lakini ikiwa ile mwanga yenye ninafurahia. But that light that you am rejoicing. Kama imekuwa giza. If it becomes dark. Nitaifurahia kumbe ni giza. I will rejoice when it's darkness. Na baada nikiona hatari zaidi. When I'm in danger. Na baada nimefikia pale sababu gani? Why am I going? Moyo wako. Your heart. Unaweza kuonyesha kitu kama vile ni mwanga. Can you show me something that is dark? Na giza. When it's darkness. Moyo Your heart also. Can show you that's light. Na pale sasa utakuta kuona matukio yake huko baadaye. Then you will see the fruits in the Kila tukio lililofanyika kwenye giza, everything that is done in darkness. Ni upotevu tu. That's the loss. Na kila linakufanyika katika nuru. And what's done in the light? That's eternal life. Na niposa ikiwa mtu anatembea katika nuru. When you walk in the light. Masemi yake pia yataletea watu uzima. It will bring people life. Mtu anayetembea katika nuru. If he walks in the light. yake pia his words. Itakuwa ya kujenga wengine. To be to be there. Mtu anayetembea katika nuru. When you walk in the light. Masemi yake pia his words. Itakuwa ya kuinua wengine. To lift others. Mtu anayetembea katika nuru. When you walk in the light. Masemi yake pia his words. Itavuti We will bring people together. Yesu akaleta mfano. Jesus said. Kasema ninyi mmekuwa chumvi ya ulimwengu. You are the salt of the world. Lakini chumvi ikiwa imeharibika. But if the salt is bad. Ni nini tena kusudi ikolee? How can we beat the salt and stone again? I find it tena. It's not useful again. Inastahili tukutupwa na kukanyaa. Just throw it and smash it. Tuangalie jambo la kufanya. Let us see the next thing. 
ikiwa chumvi if the salt yatakuwa itakuwa imeharibika if it is bad itabidi basi iweze kutupa just be to be kwa hivyo masemi yanayotoka kwa moyo wa mtu the word that comes from your heart lazima kila mtu everyone aweze kuyachunguza has to check kama yanatoka kwa moyo wako if it comes your heart ni kuangalia yanaenda kufanya kazi you have to check what kind of work is going kuangalia yanaelekea wako where does it go inaenda kuishia wako and what is ends masemi yako you want ndio itafanya watu wakukaribia that will make people to come close and you want itafanya pia watu wakutoroka that will people go run away from you toko pamoja are we together unajua ni rahisi sana kuweza kuweza kuelewa masemi yenye uliambiwa it's very easy to recognize the words that have been told ni rahisi pia kuweza kuelewa maneno mabaya yenye mtu mwingine alikwambia it's easy to understand uh, bad words that people talk to you lakini sio rahisi wewe kutambua masemi mabaya uliyoambia mwingine but it's not easy for you to recognize the bad words you spoke sijui kama niko naeleweka hapa am i understood ni rahisi kusema hivi fulani aliniambiaka vibaya it's easy to say somebody told me bad words ni rahisi pia kusema hivi ule fulani anaongeaka tu mbaya it's very very easy to say that someone is speaking lakini sio rahisi kusema hivi mie ninasemaka mbaya but it's not easy to say i i speak very bad sio rahisi hata kusema ya kwamba mie naonaka fulani mbaya and it's not easy to say i see someone lakini ule fulani ananionaka mbaya sana but that person sees me very bad ukiwa kule mkanisa macho yake tu kumie inakuwaka ya mbaya when we are in the church his eyes are don't know see lakini yako haujuwake vile anakuwaka mbaya but yours are not bad also moyo ambao ni mudanganyifu the heart which is hautakuambia kamwe hali yako we not tell you your heart hata ukwambie hali za watu it will tell you the heart of others let us go next wakati biblia inasema moyo ni mudanganyifu when the bible says that the heart is deceitful and it has the sickness to kill ikiwa inaua if it kills sababu hakuna mtu awezaye kuitambua it's because no one can recognize kama unaweza kuitambua when you recognize it, bona wewe you are healed lakini sababu hauitambui because you don't recognize it, wewe. just kill you hatutahukumiwa sababu tuliambiwa vibaya tu we will not be judged because we have been told bad lakini tutahukumiwa sababu pia tuliambia wengine vibaya we will be judged because we told we, we, we we told the other people bad things hatutahukumiwa na Mungu sababu wengine walituambia tukakasirika we will not be judged by God because people uh, tells, told us some words and we have been lakini angry lakini tutahukumiwa pia na Mungu but we will be judged sababu by God sababu tuliambia wengine maneno nao wakakwazika we told the other people words and they have been angry hivi. the bible says ya kwamba akwazae na akwazikae ah uh, What is the same yao ni moja? The, the one who just make his friend fall they are the same way. Kwa hivyo sio tu sababu tu wewe umeambiana vibaya. It's not that you just told someone a very uh, bad thing. Na mtu akakwazika and he just came angry. Kwa sababu tu umefanya dhambi. That's why you have sinned. Lakini ulifanya pia dhambi sababu na wewe uliambiwa neno na ukakwazika. You sinned because you have been told a word and you have been Watu came angry. Watu pale wako katika dhambi. Those two people they are in. Moyo wakati unakuwa mudanganyifu. When a heart is deceitful. Haituruhusu sisi kutambua hali zetu it doesn't allow us to know how our sins haituruhusu hata sisi kutambua matendo yetu kwa wengine it, it does not allow us to know uh, someone else uh, habits lakini mungu mwenyewe anasema hivi but god himself lakini says lakini mimi bwana ninajua mawazo ya wanadamu i god i know the thought of hata viuno vya wanadamu i just even tried the range of people nilipa kila mtu sawasawa na matunda yake i pay everyone according to his word yale matunda ni ya kutoka wapi where does it come from yale yanayotoka kwa moyo wa that word comes from your heart Nilikuwa naongea na mtu mmoja kwa wiki imepita. I was speaking with someone last week. Na tukao tunasema kwamba namna gani mtu tu anaweza kuwa amejiteza mkazi ya Mungu miaka na miaka. And we have been discussing how come somebody can just make himself suffer for God's work. Mtu mmoja mwenye ameua watu sana. When someone has killed many people. Ameua watu, amepasua ame wamama wakiwa na mimba, anatoa watoto anawaua. He just killed mother who is pregnant and just killed, to remove the kids Mas, and throw them. Mimi mimi naenda ingia tu mchungu tu na kamata tu kanyama kadogo mimi nakakula mimi nakaiba. I just go and steal a piece of meat and they said they have seen it. My friend there cannot be just a big sin and a small one. Lakini mimi nikakuja kuelewa kitu kimoja hapa. But I came to understand that. Ikiwa kitu kimeitwa dhambi, if something is called sin, it is ndani ya moyo. It came from the heart. Mungu anayechunguza moyo, God who sees the heart. Matunda yenye litoka mule jua yanalipata. The fruits what comes Yeye from the heart. Yeye hafuati ukubwa wa ile kitu. He doesn't see the Lakini ilitoka kwa moyo wa namna gani? It 
came with which kind of heart if everything comes from the heart God, uh, judge. God judge the works of the heart and its fruits I'll bring an example you know we are here in the church we not came here all of us to worship God but God knows every thought of everyone people came to judge just to see others happy I will see how someone will wear the I will see how someone will greet you. I think they have some good relation. And see somebody will finish If he speaks on the phone, just speak with someone I know. Someone came to church. Someone came from Africa to see what kind of things you put. I don't know the church. Just come to meet someone here. So that he can be seen on the YouTube. They put. But the God of heaven, just see that heart and the fruits of that heart. And when you repent, you will not be because you don't get the church. How was the fruits of your heart? Hallelujah. Next thing. It's very, very, very to a man to check his heart. And to see your thoughts where are, are they going. If you want to tell somebody, think you first. Where does this word go? What is going to produce? This word, does it have salt for that one who will hear it? One time my mother was speaking to her son And that kid did a bad work And he called, she called You garbage Have you had some kind of words like Garbage, what did you say? Unajua ule mtu amekukwaza si ndio? That one has make you angry. When you call him garbage. How did he hear that word? Those words had salt or not? You see, it's the one who just make me angry. But you have to understand. The one who took the spear and killed someone. And you took it. Together your thoughts is killing. Amen. You can say you never killed. You will judge a shindi who killed people. Those who commit genocide in Rwanda, they are bad. Perhaps you did a genocide more than them. God just count the hearts. That's for the words. Are they salted? When you just commit, when you neglect someone, when you despise someone, it just comes from your heart, which is full of a demon of killing, when it comes from your mouth to kill people, and when the judgment comes, the one who committed genocide, and the one who wants genocide, you are the same way. Hallelujah. Let us see the How comes the words to be sorted? If salt is good, we see three things there. I will speak one by one so that I can He just puts taste on the food. If it brings taste on the food, if it the good food test one that should make people rejoice and the people just like it when I taste that food in my mouth I just taste the sense of 
There is no sugar, no sugar, there is no salt. Please, can you add a little bit of salt? Because the taste is not very well. A good Christian is somebody who has to understand. Everything he speaks from my mouth has to be full of grace. The words of the Christian have to be grace. Full of joy. To encourage others. It's not just what bring people back. That will discourage others. Not to judge others. Full of grace. Hallelujah. The Bible says. Our words will be full of grace. And happen to be seasoned with salt. Let us to see the words of full of grace. I brought this uh, example again here on Friday. Venkere is my son. And I love him so much. And I love myself. But we are in our house. This is a very expensive bottle. I brought it 500 dollars. And I put it here. And when I put it here, I left and I went somewhere to for a walk. Venkere came and just replaced it. I will put it here. Because grace is short, he will come and just hit it and fall down. And when it fell down, oh, it just broken. At the same time, I just take Venkere. We will just take him and beat him. As to, from today, you are not my son. I just hate you. You are a very bad son. Because you just make the Tomorrow, just be keep quiet. And they came to see me. I bought another one. And I put it there. I go and just write. I just I just hit it. It fell down. Nothing was done. You know, we're gonna buy another one. No problem. It's not the end of the night. For me, it's not a problem. For him, it was a big problem. Where is my grace? We don't recognize. Everyone can make a fault. You judge yourself in your friends. When you did it, you did not judge yourself. Other people are bad because they did this. You did the same. Other people, they just do this size. How many people you have done this size? And how many times you judge yourself? They want to be the same. It's very bad. But when you pass away, you just criticize others. A Christian is the one. So that can be he has to be full of grace. Hallelujah. When you are in problem, when you cry, I said I just miss everything. I don't have this and that. He needs salt. What kind of salt? Just encourage him. You have to have what to encourage other people. When someone is crying, he doesn't need money. When someone is crying, he doesn't need visit to he needs the word and those encouraging words that's the sort which you go with the words hallelujah if our people could not kill themselves, those people would not hang themselves in the house. Someone is staying there alone. He just calls someone. I have this problem with this problem. This is Canada. That's how it is here. If you don't look, you get the problem. My brother doesn't work. Life is very hard. How can I do? Don't you see other people? Just go there. Encourage your friends so that you can be healed. Don't just give him 100. I just remember the wife of Elkanah. Anna. May God bless you. Do you think Elkanah was How does he she was missing something? Even her husband. The Bible says. When her husband was giving, was giving double. Because he was doing everything to encourage him. But listen. 
Every encouragement is just going from God. We don't do nothing. Every encouragement is just following the message from the man. Just to be this is for someone who is this for. But just encourage you. The word of God will do something in your heart. Those are the ones sorted. Let us see it. Many people just uh, lose their tests. Even their relation with people just ends. Because their words. It's full of the When you test their words, your heart is in trouble. Just throw away. No, this is not a relationship. Kind of this is have to die. And someone was coming to visit me. He doesn't come to me. Someone was calling me every time, but doesn't come. Ah, he's very bad. You know now he has a lot of money. Just got a job somewhere. When they are blessed here, that's how they come. Have you? Thought? Your words will just come. Did they just encourage him or not? Hakuna usiano wa mzuri there is no good relation Hakuna pia usiano mzuri no ambao utaniyeyusha kichwa that will make me trouble usiano mzuri ni ule ambao ninapouonja ninasikia huko tamu na ninausogelea tena and i just come close siku moja tulikuwa naongea na mke wangu one day we were speaking with my wife na ikafika wakati moja nilifanya karibu siku tatu siko nakula kwenye and it came like I did three days I'm not eating mama naleta chakula mina nasikia tu apetii haiku mother bring the food but there is no appetite na furai yaka huu mama kitu kimoja I just I'm happy for this mama one thing nina mutesaka sana kiasi jemi peke daonaka sana nimetesa huu mtoto wa bata until I think I say I feel guilty utakuja kuona saa moja natafutisha huu mtu nini ya nyatakula vrema this person what kind of food he likes yes ke ni ndizi yes ke ni mihogo is it plante is it cassava bugari ha bugari tena joy hii inakuwa semule is big problem again mama tajaribu waka anaona vile yuko anakula sababu just try huyu mtu hajakula this one he didn't eat yet siku moja nikasema akosa is it true video inakuwa kama mingi ndani when they sold or not isha karambia hapana kuna wakati tu haupendaki chakula tu ya mchungu you know he doesn't like a food which was prepared tuite pizza tuone kama hautapenda he just call pizza and see if you will not eat I just called Venkere. Venkere, can you order a piece of bread? So that when he comes, he will be late. Yes, I didn't eat. You will not eat today? What is there again? Are you going to eat or not? How am I going to eat when I didn't see anything here? When it is that kind of box, there is some kind of red. I will eat. I will eat this. Because there is a next test there which just will bring me close. There is this which you can bring you close. When you have nice things, people will come close to you. You know why people came close to Jesus? His words were encouraging words. When he went to people. He just said, 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 he just Najua hata kanisa linaweza kuwa chungu kwa watu. Even the church can be not good to people. Unajua kuna wakati tunasema kasema oh watu wa huko wapendake maneno ya Mungu. Oh these people this country they don't like God to wives. Even if you preach them they don't go to the church. Mtu mmoja kaniambia jana tulikuwa na mtumishi wangu tuko naongea. Yes they were coming. Mtu mmoja mmoja aliacha huduma. One preach one preach. Akasema yeye anaacha kuhubiri sababu anahubiri yake watu wote hawataki kuamini. He just quit preaching because he just preached and they were like. Na yeka mkanisa mkanisa watu hawawezi kutubu dhambi. They just come to the church they are not even. I just liquid. I stay the same. This is a big problem. In the church, people should come to be healed. 
nitapona mimi nitapona huko nyama am i gonna be healed watu ni wagonjwa huku people are sick out there wako na vidonda huku people have wounds watu wako na wako nataka wasikie chakula kitamu huku people want to lakini je watakipata kanisani are they gonna receive them je watakipata kwa ile kikundi yenye wataingia oh are they gonna meet them in the wheel when they enter that kuna sengenyo inaanza kuenda wanapoingia muule kuna hukumu inaanza judgment is hata niwaambie unajua kuna watu ambao waliitwa people are being called na walipoitwa walikuwa hapo wao wanavaa tu ni jipi they just wear the skirts me labda alipoingia kwa kanisa yenu when you were church anavaa jipi when you were put skirts ukasema ule ni mbaya juu ana varaka pantalo said is bad because you put on trousers Rangina waliita wana faraka pantalo. Other been called the boy wearing the trousers. Na wakati waliingia kwa kanisa yenu mwenyewe mna faraka zipo. When to go there you put. Kama kwamba ule ni mpagani na hata ingia. This is a pagan than others. Ikiwa alipoingia ulimhukumu juu ya pantalo. He came and judge him because of trousers. Ume, Umemponya ama umemuua? Did you heal him or kill him? Ninaongea hili jambo nataka niingie ndani kidogo. Sio ni speak this because I want to be understood. Biblia mimi haijaniambia ya kwamba. The Bible na never told. Na wote wanaovaa pantalo sehemu yao ni katika ziwa. Those who put trousers there. Hapa kuna habari ya discipline ambayo tunahitaji kujua. We have to hold need to have hali ambazo ni discipline ya kimwili there is our habit that ambayo kanisa na uongozi wa kanisa tunaleta utaratibu kwa mavalio ya watu they can bring some kind of of kwa maisha ya kiroho it's not in your lakini najua siku kwa like. namanda italia one day ninajua hata wapantalo atanyakuliwa even those wearing pantalo will hii ni kweli inaongea ikiwa true. moyo wake haukumdangaza if his heart will not ikiwa masemi yake yalikuwa ya chungu if he was a soldier ikiwa alikuwa wa faraja kwa wengine if it was encouraging yes what i sabia jua alivala pantalo Jesus will not count the people in the house. People will count in his house. How are they? Amen. Tunakuta kuangalia watu wanatoroka juu ya chuki. We see how people just run away because of Wakati uko na chuki, hauna chumvi. When you have hatred, when you have mtu wa fitina, hauna chumvi. When you have jealousy. Wakati uko mtu wa kuchonganisha wengine, hauna chumvi. Wakati uko mtu wa majivuno, hauna chumvi. When you are proud. Wakati uko mtu wa kujipendekeza kwa maneno, hauna chumvi. Lakini utakuwa na chumvi tu. You will have soul. Wakati maneno yako when you what? Yanajaa faraja. Full of encouragement. Wakati maneno yako yanatia wengine moyo. When just encourage others. Najua hata katika kazi ya Mungu kuna wengine wanafunza gatu moyo. Even the church is people just discourage others. Jana nilikuwa hapa kukwaya. Yesterday I was here. Na nikaongea jambo mbaya ile niliona sana kuvunja moyo watu walinisema. I said the one thing. Sasa kwa Victor ilikuwa hapa vrema haibake mzuri. This Victor does not sing well. Kwa ngapi wanajua Victor ilikuwa haibake mzuri wa inue mikono. How many people they say that Victor doesn't sing well? Hakuna si ndio. No one. Lakini mtu kama anasema kwamba eh tu bana imbaka tu mbaya. Mimi nitaona ile haiko masemi ya kujawa chumvi. This one is not. Sababu kwa kweli Victor ilikuwa inaimba vizuri. Victor is singing well. Na ni vizuri watiwe moyo kwamba wanaimbaka vizuri. They have to encourage them that you are singing well. Mke wako kikusongea bugari ya BA. Mimi nimesimwambia mama leo ulipiga vizuri. Usimutie hata. Well. Yes. Well. Just encourage her. Kuna baba wengine kama mama alisonga bugari ya mafundo fundo. Ada mfadha hivi. Anaanza zile fundo. Just count those kind of. Anataka kafundo kwa kwanza naweka pale, kingine pale, kingine pale, kingine pale, kingine pale. Njoo kumwambia sasa atakuja kutoa masahaji. Wewe ulikamu tu. Angalia yenye anasongaka na mbugari. What you, what you did. Lakini mtu akujia kutia kutia wengine moyo. Someone who knows how to encourage. Ile fundo kwenye hiko ndio atakata tonge mkubwa. That's where there is a big that's where you just uh, remove. Amen. Sijui sijui mama mnasikia kae wakati yenye ulikuwa febre wakakwambia sema uko forward. Mother, how do you feel when you are weak and said you are very strong? Dada amekata tumaini asemye mie sitaolewaka oh, mie. Tumie kitu changu ni cha mkubwa. Kabla mimi naenda kwanza kufanya masport na mie ni na massage. So Lakini ninajua ya kwamba baraka ya mwanaume the blessings of the man is from God. Na baraka ya mwanaume inatoka kwa Mungu haikutokea ku gymnastics. It doesn't come from him. Haikutokea kwa ile mambo yenye watu wanakuambia. Doesn't come from what people say. Kama ni maneno ya faraja. If they have people words of courage. Biblia inasema hivi. The Bible says. Na lolote mnapoliomba kwa imani. Everything you pray for faith will receive. Eske umeomba mwana ume Mungu akakuhima yeye. Did you ask for a man and God refused to give? Na alafu ile mtu anasema, "Eh ndio nilikuwa na wazaka sema tu ndio na chaba na ume bana bana." I said I think the belly. Ni bangapi wako na matumbo za Saint Trevor na makosa? How many people are going to have a shape every day missing your husband? Eske umeshaka wana wenye wako na tafuta wako na matumbo za Saint Trevor? Do you have those one who good shape but they miss? Eske umeshaka wana mwenye wako na kitumbo cha mkuu akamupata? And you have one big belly that has a body toka kwa Mungu. It's because he came from God. Ni lazima tutiane moyo katika encourage one another. Wakati tunatiana moyo. When we encourage ourselves. Tuna inuana pia kiroho. We just lift ourselves. Labda huko kijana anajiona unakuwa mweusi. You are black. Aseme wao acha na mie nianze kupakola. I will put you some. So that you can be. Lakini ninasema kwamba mweusi ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Black in Jesus name. Mweusi ambaye ana ana uwepo wa Mungu. Black woman of God. Wake tena unaonekana. Lakini utukufu wa Mungu na penya ndani yake. Oh just the glory of God. Unaonekana mtu 
and he has seen another one when the husband or wife will come to church if the papa you are black if you are you will not see you as you are that is the husband I like because God has just answered the prayer people should not uh, discourage when you are discouraged you need someone to encourage you and those words they will be those are the words which are so good. If you are benefit to people, people will come close to you. Someone was in problem. He went to ask someone to come. And now he's stable. But there is someone in high level. If you go to see someone, oh, oh, you are in trouble. If you go tell someone, you will be in your call. If you go see someone, his words, his other people, those kind of words, are they sold for you? Those works, people will come close to you. You will start judging people. How is your salt? Let us see the so, it just keeps the food for a long time. We saw that one before. Let us go next. When a good words come from it, you just keep the relationship between you If that is relationship is long, it's because he saw the benefit comes from her. Not material benefit. There is some kind of news on the internet. Bad men just got uh, good wives. Why? When you go to see that kind of woman, you just see him from the bottom. We see him as a husband. How can this start to get this one? He could not, uh, he not deserve this one. He has assaulted the words. This woman did not get close to him. He spoke with her. When he will understand his second row, he started he just came to bless the man is there. Good words bring people close and bring relationship. Hallelujah. Next thing. We just spoke about that one. Go next. We're going to see Mark. Mark 950. The Bible wants to show here. Jesus spoke this. So that people can stay together. They have to have good words. That will make these people stay together. Good words. Will bring relationship. Good words. Will bring relationship. It will be the friendship. I saw people just in the, the, the because of bad words. I went to his place. I told him to bring you good soil. I said we will die in this Canada. And we will see you in the I will not go there. Then. The words to ask for salt not to bring salt. If he asks for salt, give him salt. Don't give him, just give him little, just judge him. Judge him. And they are now expensive shoes. They just put some kind of food. And they don't have salt in their houses. When someone has that, leave your salt. And the relation just ends there. To his place until there is just mourning. <laughs> because the words were not very bad. Hallelujah. Our words has to be so sorry. When they will be sorry, they will be in Next thing. The words to have so they just heal wounds. And I will finish from there. I just remember Elijah. If you can read the first king. The Bible says, Second Kings 7. 
tutasoma lile andiko samani we'll kwa mfano wa pili sura yake ya pili samani mstari wa 19 2 kings 2 19:21 na kimizara na muda wewe uandike tu utasoma nyumba yako just say, write and tusome can you read the brother mfano tume wa pili second kings sura yake ya pili mstari wa 19 hadi 20 2:19:21 Asante upendo. Kwa mfano wa pili bila kisa ishirini moja tusome kwa jina la Na yule akida akajibu. Asapana so, sorry. Wa mfano wa pili mbili 19. Wa 2 Kings 2. Eh sura yake ya pili mstari wa 19. Bila kisa tusome kwa jina. Watu wa muji wakamwambia Asante. Angalia tunakusii pahali pa muji huu ni pazuri. Kama bwana wangu anavyoona lakini maji yake hayafai na udongo hauzai hau vizuri Ishirini, akasema uniletee chungu kipya na mvutie chumvi ndani mm -hmm. yake ndani Ukiria ya... pale akasema uniletee nini chungu mm -hmm. chungu chungu, chungu mpya anawatie nini ndani nini chungu chungu ndani yake endelea wakamletea Ishirini mosha akatoka akakwenda hata chemichemu za maji akatupa ile chumvi kule ndani akasema Bwana anasema hivi nimeponyesha maji haya hakuta toka hata tena kufa Amen. wala kisichofaa ana haleluya hakuta toka tena kufa wala kitu kisichozaa no death or a barren land biblia inasema hivi the bible says kulikuwa maji ambayo imefumbua watu there were a water that make people suffer na ile nchi ilikuwa inazaa tu mapooza and that if you want to so much bad ni hogo wanakuja wanakuja kuvuna ya kuoza if they put it aside they just spoil wakiweza wakiweza kupanda karanga ndani inatoka ya kuoza they put their peanuts there miaka inaenda na kurudi years went and come lakini siku moja wakaendea mtumishi wa Mungu when they went to see a man of God wakamwambia bwana ona hapa kwenye tunakaa see where we stay maji ni machafu mwora is bad maji iko machungu it doesn't look haina utamu it doesn't have taste Mimea yetu inazaliwaka tu ya kuoza. Our crops. Sasa bwana tunaweza fanya namna gani? How can we do? Mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye alijua siri iliyo ndani yake. The man of God who knew the secret. Akasema muniletee chungu, chombo kingine kingine. Give me a new cup. Mule ndani mtaweka tu ndani nini? Chumvi. Put salt inside. Na wakati aliweka ndani chumvi, sikia neno la Bwana alikasema hivi. See the word of God. Ya kwamba na tangu leo Bwana anasema hivi. And from today the Lord say. Hakuta kuwa kufa tena. The Lord death again. Bwana hata toka tena. Oh no barren land. Sababu chumvi imeingia ndani. Because the salt just. Sina la Bwana alipewa sisi. Hallelujah. Chumvi wapendwa inahitajika kwa maisha yako. Salt is needed for. Masemi yako yakiwa na chumvi yataponya vidonda. Kuna watu wameteseka na vidonda hapa kanisani. People are suffering with wounds. Kuna watu wanateseka na vidonda huku hivi. People are wounded outside. Kuna watu wana problem na problem na problem. People have problems and problems. Lakini wanahitaji masemi ya chumvi ili wapo. They just need a sorted word. Wanahitaji masemi ya faraja kwao. Encouragement. Wanahitaji masemi ya kuatia moyo. What to encourage them? Wanahitaji masemi ya kuainua. What to lift them? Sio ya kuwahukumu. Not to judge them. Kuna watu wamoja kama ni waombaji wao kama wanaombaka mwenye haombaki hata ingiaka the one who doesn't pray will not go to heaven kuna wengine kama yeye ana, anaendaa kumaombi na wengine apeye kumaombi if he just go to heaven that one is not a christian kuna wengine kama yeye anakuja kumikutano ya wiki mwingine akujake ule yeye ndio mfanya dhambi that one is a sinner lakini je umeshajiuliza kwa nini fulani hakujake did you ask yourself why that do your friend doesn't come eske unajua kama kuna mtu anaweza ataka kuja akakosa transport someone can need to come but he doesn't have transport eske unajua kama kuna mtu anaweza ataka kukuja lakini akalemewa na mambo mengine someone can come but he's busy je ulikuwa wa faraja kwake did you encourage him ama ulikuwa tu akumgukumu oh were you there just to judge him wewe unajua watu humu hawa ombake ah people they don't pray they don't come to them watu hawa hawa hawezi kutoa they just give ni watu wagumu tu they are very hard people je ulitambua maisha yao iko namna gani did you know how they are like this neno gani ya chumvi ya kutoa and what kind of word kila vidonda yenye wako nayo je uliwaponya katika those wounds they have did you heal them mungu anataka asubuhi ya leo god wants this man wewe na mimi masemi yetu yawe na you and me our words kama vile yesu kristo alikuwa chumvi kwa ulimwengu as jesus was a salt na akasema kwamba na nyinyi mmekuwa chumvi ya ulimwengu and you you are the salt too na hataki ya kwamba tuwe chumvi ya kukanyakwa he doesn't want to be salt chumvi ya kukanyakwa ni reputation mbaya yako that's in bad reputation chumvi ya kukanyakwa ni watu wanaanza kukutoroka that's people are running away from you chumvi ya kukanyakwa ni yenye haijulikani tena samani yake that's why the witness must be wanaona ya kwamba nao kristo ya ule haifai even your christianity na ile kanisa yao haifai even the church is na ile urafiki yangu na yeye haifai even the relationship with him doesn't need chumvi imekosa because no salt lakini kuna mmoja ana chumvi one person has salt chumvi inapatikana kwa mungu mwenyewe salt is from god alipoenea mtumishi wa mungu
Mungu ilishinda. Akaenda kuweka mahali pale. Ikiwa masemi yako haina chumvi. Leo sisi yako akwambia Bwana kuongezea. Today is your day to tell God. Ikiwa masemi yako yamekosa hii chumvi. If you want to miss this salt. mchana wa leo. Ya kwamba Bwana inataka unitumie. Lord I need to use me. yangu yaweze kubariki. So that my words have to be salt. yangu yainue wengine. My words lift others. Yangu yatie wengine moyo. So that encourage others. Yangu yajenge wengine. To build others. Ili ufalme wako Bwana uweze kuwa. So that your kingdom may come. Bwana tubariki. Amen. May God bless us. Amen.